Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Am I gonna... Oh, that was good. I was going to start there. If you can hear me, clap once. <laughs> um, we are excited to be here at the Reedsville Trading Post this morning and to have such a large turnout. Thank you all so much for the support. I'm going to turn it over to our hostess with the mostess. Also... <laughs> Also, our um, business person of the year. Congratulations on that. Miss Amy Laster. Hey, everybody. Thank you for coming today. I'm going to step back here so my I'm back. back I know. Thank you guys for coming. It's so amazing to see that everybody's out. We can actually start doing stuff again. Um, I think I know most everybody here. Uh, we opened our business in march of 2020 right in the middle of the pandemic and it has been the most amazing year and a half everybody has been so supportive and wonderful um, if you haven't been in make sure you check it out everything i have is local made it's all local artisans so you're not only supporting my business you're supporting lots of local moms and crafters and you know artisans so um thank you guys so much if you don't know about it as well we do the what's good app i have two ladies that signed up today which is the local farmers market you can order online you order um monday by midnight and you pick up here on wednesdays i have some of the sample produce inside as well so um thanks for everything and i'm on, i did not tell you about the merchants group any of you are welcome to come to that it's the last thursday of every month we meet at sip coffee trying to plan some different events for downtown we have a big event on saturday um, we're doing kind of a family friendly event there'll be big yard games up and down the sidewalks we got several artisans that are from my store that are coming in i know kelly's kitchen's doing food i believe christina i'm not sure where she went with well, the corner shop they're doing some stuff on their end as well so just trying to bring people down and let them know that downtown's coming back oh and you're the only one that knows this but we can officially announce it we're opening a second location it's going to be called the workshop it's going to be a make it or take it and a lot of my artisans are going to teach classes there i have someone that does supplements and so something new in downtown so yeah she's the first one that found out <laughs> um, i didn't tell anybody we're actually getting ready to get the spot where thrift shack is unfortunately they're going out of business but so it'll just be two doors down so yeah and that's end of july so, yeah make it, make it and take, take it, it. Yep. Yeah, make it and take it workshop. The workshop. That's right. That's right. That's all you. Read the trade and post the workshop. That's right. We're really excited about that. And um, Amy doesn't really like to toot her own horn, so I will toot her horn for her. Um, this business started the week that the pandemic broke out, like literally the week the pandemic broke. And so to see a business continue to just push and for the community to support them um, and for them to thrive and then to encourage other owners and other people to continue to purchase businesses and purchase buildings and open buildings um, during all of this crazy, crazy time that we have been living through is just really amazing. But then on top of that, okay, she started grouping together the merchants again and said, hey guys, let's be organized. Let's show people that we can have some events not relying heavily on the city or the chamber, but partnering with the city and the chamber to bring things down and to offer things for themselves, which we haven't done in a while, um, is, is impressive. And then on top of that, to be a site for the pickup for the co-op and then to take over the co-op so that we can continue to have this awesome, if you've not gotten a produce box from the co-op, you are missing out. Um, it is phenomenal. Um, if you have not gotten milk from the Homestead Creamery, you are missing out. Um, so just make sure that you check out the, like she said, it's Source What's Good. If you go in your app store, it's a little green icon. It says What's Good. Um, so you can't, and then you just can't, I mean, you just can't beat that. No. You just can't beat it. So I'm happy to help anybody walk through with that app and help you. I heard that some folks got signed up this morning. Also, if you have not signed up for text messages, and I'm sorry, I don't know why the text message this morning didn't come out. That's probably user error. You may get one later today. I don't know. Um, but I scheduled it. I don't know what happened. Um, but you definitely should sign up for the text messages because that's a great way to find out about the things that are going on. So, um, Amy, thank you. Thank you for having
hosted this morning. Thank you for this fabulous spread. People, please eat and drink because otherwise, and she's going to be bringing it down to the chamber later and That's right. telling us to eat it. So, um, we do have some upcoming events that we're really excited about to, to have the summer back and alive. You know, that was the big thing last year um, was being able to be outdoors. So as soon as it got warm, we started seeing events come back. But um, we have the second Downtown Fridays, which started last month. There is a little confusion over that. I'm going to call on my, my friend and our community officer, Lieutenant, um, who's in charge of community police. Um, I know we had some confusion. We're going to continue to block the streets in the same manner, right, for the rest of the summer. Um, mostly. Right. So they had a really hard job of trying to figure out with the DOT streets, with the city-owned streets, um, and I'm going to introduce somebody else who's a part of that now moving forward. Um, but the events that are happening downtown, I will just say it's it's going to be a lot, but it's going to be fun, right? But also there's going to be stuff going on behind the scenes because the streetscape project is starting, has started. They're starting to move forward with that. Um, and it's going to be growing pains, and it's not going to be pretty, um, and we're going to have to deal with it for the rest of the year. But that's okay because the outcome is going to be so worth it. So second downtown Fridays are down at Market Square with this lower block blocked off for the cars to be at Market Square and overflow to be on um, Martin Luther King, I believe, right? Or on Southwest Market, actually, on Southwest Market because it's on that part of it. So, um, you know, it's... It, we had some great turnout last time, even though it rained. We had a few cars. But we had great food trucks. We had the beer garden, and we still had a good time. We hung out and had a good time, and um, it was what it was. So, um, But we now have a new Main Street director. We're really excited. Robin Yacht has joined us. Robin, you want to say anything about upcoming? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be here in my hometown, and uh, I love everybody here, and I, I love regional. Uh oh I love Reesville, and just bear with us as we start Streetscape. It's going to be exciting. You're going to love everything that's going to happen. If you have any questions, you can call us personally. Um, it, it's going to be a, a great thing for Reesville, and, um, and we're just so excited about it. But we have some great events this summer coming up. Don't forget Farmer's Market um, every Saturday and Thursday. Uh, 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. We still have Fitness on the Square, and they have decided to extend that on into July um, on Monday night, Zumba. So come out, and, and from um, it's been a great turnout at, so far, so get out and enjoy that. So some great concerts coming up over the summer. June 25th, we have the Ace Party Band. Um, that's 7 to 9 at Market Square. July 23rd, uh, we have a Fleetwood Mac tribute band, Tell Me Lies. That's going to be really cool as well. Um, August 27th, uh, we have the 80s Nation, 80s Tributes Band. So I'm an 80s baby, so I'm excited about that one. And then September 24th, the Jukebox Rehab Country Rock. So a lot of great events. Uh, check out our websites, our Facebook page. Call me personally, give you more information. And then later in the fall, you know, we're planning Fab Festival and all kinds of things. So just uh, we're excited to have everybody come down. Speaking of the beer gardens, we are still looking um, for some volunteers and board members and ambassadors. You guys should have gotten an email yesterday from me about one we're trying to decide on. I really need some replies on that, if y'all saw that. Um, and you can talk to me about it personally. Also, we're really excited. I'm going to introduce both a new member and an event at the same time. We are excited to have Action Coach with us. Um, and we are having a lunch and learn. It's a topics at 12. Um, on June 16th at the office starting at 1130. And it's on recruiting, hiring, and building and keeping a dream team. And I'm going to turn it over to our new member um, and our representative today, Beverly McNutt, who's with Action Coach. We're so excited to be a part of the community and um, doing this Lunch and Learn series. And I know people are skeptical when people do Lunch and Learns and they're buying you lunch. They're like, oh, yeah, you're going to give me a spiel for an hour and a half. Well, that's not what we do. We actually, it's an hour and a half of learning. So you're going to come and you're going to learn about hiring your team, but you're also going to learn 
just good everyday things as reminders for your business, for like time management, for mindset, all the things that help you to be successful. So it will be an hour and a half of learning. So bring your notepad and take notes. And we don't do a hardcore sale. If you're interested, there'll be a sheet of paper you can sign your name on. If you're not interested, no worries. We're here to support you. We love um, this community just like we love our community in Winston-Salem. And we want to help small businesses to be successful. I love the success story here. That's awesome. I would love for every business to have that kind of success story, to be able to come out and COVID and and to make it, you know, to, to thrive, not to just get involved, but actually to thrive. Sounds like she's done fantastic. And it's because of this community and your support. So thank you for allowing us to be a part of it. And we're looking forward. I hope you guys will sign up for the lunch and learn. Thank you. And there is an Eventbrite link for that. Please make sure if you're interested in coming and you're going to put it on your calendar that you sign up and register so that we have enough lunch for everybody. Um, we are having the Independence Day celebration at the lake on July 2nd. Um, I was talking to Quentin about that this week. It sounds like he has got a ton of really great stuff planned. Um, they did a survey uh, last year and asked for what things people would like to see. So they are really trying to address that. I know they're going to have the band. Um, they're going to have a phone party for the kids. They're going to have stilt walkers. I mean, it's just, it's all kinds of really cool stuff. So y'all plan on coming out to that. Um, we have been asked to do a beer garden. I'll just say that we are hoping to do that, but I'm trying to make sure we have enough help because that's, that'd be the largest one we've ever done. Um, even bigger than cycle NC or anything like that. So, um, that's what I need help for. So even if you're not a board member or an ambassador and would like to volunteer let me know because we're looking for help for that also we have our ice cream social coming up um, if you've never been to an ice cream social we don't do a coffee like this in july just because it's the week of the fourth um, but we do have an ice cream social it's our one event that all year it's free to all of our chamber members it's free to all of your employees and it's free to all of their family members the only thing we ask that you do is that you rsvp so that we have enough food um, and we ask that you bring homemade ice cream or ice cream ice cream sandwiches toppings um, and we'll have a sign up list for that too in the coming weeks so that is coming up um, i think it's scheduled for july 14th we have some ribbon cuttings coming up um, I know I mentioned this before, Jack's Burgers is now um, a family-friendly restaurant, and they are trying to do trivia and all kinds of cool things. Um, they are also in a really great location, as we know that by next summer, the Splash Pad will be there at Lower J.C. Park and will be hopping and full of people. So they're at 2009 South Scale Street, um, and that's on a Friday at noon, June 10th. Also, Reedsville Primary Care. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. If you guys, um, if you're not really familiar with the healthcare system or how that works, having a primary care provider is huge for every family. Um, and it's important to me that we have people that are accepting new patients. Um, they're a part of Cone's system and they've got some great doctors and some things lined up, but it takes that burden off of our urgent cares and off of our ED at any pen if people have primary care that they can call. So this is a great new facility um, that we're going to be doing a ribbon cutting on June 21st at noon, and that's on South Main Street in the old, um, the not the old, but the uh, building. What am I trying to say? The double, yes, thank you, that guy. I was like, gosh, what's the name of that thing? Um, and then we want to welcome our new members. Um, we already did Action Coach, and then I know I saw some others. Judy Neal is here somewhere, right? She's hiding. Hi, Judy Neal is here as an individual, um, a new member. Uh, McKinney Insulation, I was going to say he's here in North Carolina. There you are. I knew I'd seen your face smiling at me. And North Carolina Biohazard and Chemical Cleanup. And I know you spoke as a prospective member last month, so he joined. Welcome. you have anything you'd like to add? <laughs> awesome thank you um as i mentioned before we won't have a july coffee and connections but we do have one for august and it's on august the 4th um, at 9 a.m and it will be at affordable furniture uh, miss virginia will be our host on freeway drive so definitely come out and see us then. 
Um, I think that's it for all we have got plans for Chamber Champs just wrapped up. Thank goodness. Um, we are still trying to top those loose ends. That program launches in July. Um, golf tournament um, showcase. We're working on all the things. You'll start seeing info about that. Um, we're really thankful to our sponsors, um, the Greensboro Grasshoppers and Reedsville Nissan. Um, and then for the golf and for Tri-State Steel for the showcase. So it's going to be a fun um, summer, I think. And we're excited about the fall and getting all those things together. Um, our board's been working really hard. Um, and we're just proud of progress that we're making moving forward. Have a great staff. I'm thankful to be fully staffed. I know everybody can't say that. Um, but we are. And I'm thankful for that. So, um Yes, I am very thankful. I am very thankful. And I'm not, I'm not bragging, I promise. I'm just, I feel, it's terrible. Every time I talk to members, I mean, that's what I hear. So, and that, honest to goodness, that was one of the biggest reasons that uh, some of our events were delayed because some of our largest members and largest groups of people who would have attended weren't going to be able to come. So um, that's some of the reason we delayed a lot of our events. But we are thankful. I feel like I'm kind of uh, broken the chains. We don't, we don't have any back events. We're not backlogged anymore. We are forward pressing and, and forward looking on. So that's exciting. And um, thank you to everybody who came out for the annual awards. I think it was a phenomenal day. I'm sorry that it was a little warm. Um, but I think that Robbie truly felt appreciated and celebrated our award winners um, that, that won the different awards. Um, we're just, we're excited to um, to be moving past 2021 and and looking forward to the rest of 2022. So, yes, sir. I was going to say, and I'm getting to throw out the first pitch, so y'all come and, and see me. 7 o'clock at J.C. Park, um, they're kicking off their season. We've worked really hard trying to help them make sure they had all their I's dotted and their T's crossed. And so they're, um, I have some pocket schedules at the chamber. Um, if you want to come get them for your business, I have a few printed and cut right now. Um, they play June and July. They have several home games. They also have some away games if you're ever interested that are that are close like high point and um some of those areas so but it's i just think it's the coolest thing that those guys come and play the collegiate season um for the two seat for the two months um the old north state league you know worked with us and chose reedsville as a place for one of their teams and um richie has big big plans how many of y'all are familiar with the savannah bananas do y'all anybody Yes, like hilarious. So if you're a TikTok, if you watch TikTok or you see the videos on Facebook, they are like the dancing baseball team. They're hilarious. They're always like doing stuff. Um, it's pure entertainment. They sell out 4,000 seats. Like I was in a group um, email to get tickets. And before my time slot even opened, all the tickets were sold out. Like you can't get tickets. Um, and it's very similar. And he just has these big dreams of making um, the Luckies that type of draw for people to come here. So, um, I mean, he was wanting like dancing grandmas and like, you know, fun stuff for the kids and so um definitely come out support that um last year they struggled a little bit with lights and being able to see the ball at night so a lot of the games got moved up to 2 p.m and people couldn't make it but that um the city has successfully helped them get that accomplished and so the games are at seven they are during the week and on the weekends come out i think it will be um a lot of fun for for everybody if you enjoy baseball it's definitely a fun time so, does anybody have announcements? They have, y'all have fundraisers, events, announcements from the floor. TGRC doing anything you want to? Margaritaville, Escape to Margaritaville is the 23rd through 26th at Rockingham High School. Um, tickets are available online, tgrc-nc.com or at the door. This is going to be a really fun date night show. Please don't bring small children. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few innuendos. Um, but it's a great date night. Come out and enjoy. Um, cast is 16 and up, so that's about the appropriate age. I got tickled at her at the annual award. She was helping seat people. And she said, I almost said, thanks and enjoy the show. <laughs> and I was like, I said, like, it's TGRC kind of coming out. <laughs> I was like, well, it's going to be a show. It's okay. It was a show. It was fun. And you might see me. <laughs> oh, are we on stage this time? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Awesome, awesome. Other events? Or yes, ma'am. I know you guys have stuff. Well, actually, I'm putting the bomb ahead on. Oh, okay. Um, on June 16th, we've been working during COVID. Um, we've been working with the Wilton Square, the trail, will go up and be unveiled at the Waffle House on June 16th at 5.30. Awesome.
awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, congratulations. Cherokee Camp Road. <laughs> Any updates on the Justice One? Awesome. We're moving stuff in, but we can't move bodies in until the closing. Right. Gotcha. We're excited. That is exciting. It's going to be awesome. Yep. Anybody else? Anybody else? Y'all going to have some jam stuff during the, the Saturday things, right? Saturday. Every Saturday. But is it going to be, is it outside? That yeah, so you'll be moving outside for the the special event, and then you're always inside on the other Saturdays. That's really cool. That's at Scale Street, at uh, Scale Street Music. Anybody else? All right. Has anybody ever not been to a coffee that I didn't recognize? Either new member, new employee, new rep, somebody who didn't speak before. Okay, I think you're covered. Awesome. Anybody else just for the greater good? Everybody else excited about summer? I know I am. Like, I'm jealous Robin's already been to the beach. I'm like, she uh, she had a vacation week last week. and Yeah, girl, I know. I know all about that. All right. Well, I think that's it. We're going to finish a little early today, please. As he said, uh, what, some of us were grabbing teacher gifts. They've got great teacher gifts. They've got Father's Day gifts. They've got... And then we've got door prizes. So 